this knuckle as if you're trying to get out under his nose. Now don't you go anywhere unless I make you. And you drill and you get nothing. He feels only the action. But he does not get the neurological pain because there's not a nerve ending there. But that's the ending of the large intestine meridian where the energy flows. When you touch his arm on large intestine, ah! the fight is over immediately. You're going to do that. You're going to do that with each other not so aggressively. You're going to have the person grab you. When they grab you, you can do this. You can do this. Large intestine meridian crosses and ends on each side of your nose. This is excellent to teach women in a rape situation because if they're knocked down on their back, the man has to have one arm on the ground. And if we were on the back and he had an arm on the ground and it were this arm, I only have to touch it as I touch here. We spark between the two. And the person will fly off you. You practice that back in your dojos. The person will go off to the side of the arm because this arm will bend in. As I do this, you'll see that this arm will want to bend on you and he'll fall off that direction. Without touching the arm, nothing. He still feels it, but you're not going to get a release. And he probably didn't expect the shock he was going to get because that's the shock that takes place. He thought, I can take that. Your opponent will too. The minute you touch and go, the spark flies. Am I correct? Yes. At this point, anything I wanted to do, if I wanted to just drop on stomach five or hit on the neck, he's going to fall. You have to watch because he would go down head first. You have to watch that standing because their head's going to go like that and you do not want them to fall and injure them. All you're going to do is have the person grab you. Touch him at the nose. Nothing. Touch here, and you got control of the situation. You got control of the situation. If you hit, if you hit the arm and go here, this move is in kata. It will put the person out, but the whole arm will cramp up on you because you have struck a pressure point, and you've stuck a pressure point. Two pressure points, the pain meets in the middle. When you do one pressure point, the pain is localized. When you do two pressure points, it meets in the middle. The first time I had it done on me was by Ho Han Sokin in 1972. He rubbed me here and punched me in lung one, and when I went down, I was afraid to look at my own arm. I actually thought it was broke. I told one of my students, he broke my arm. What do you mean, they said, where'd he break it? I said, the elbow, the elbow's got to be, I was afraid to even look. It felt like he went and took it in half. The pain will meet in the middle twice the amount of pain. So when you do one pressure point here, you do one pressure point here, the pain's really coming this way, trying to meet each other. Everybody get up and do that real quick. <coughs> One thumb away. Got that? Let me use you, Mr. Man, who didn't feel it. <laughs> when you are doing the pressure points, you got nerve, you have chi energy you're using. You just did, was everybody successful with that, yes? If you weren't, you have to practice it. That's one that works on everybody. You're messing with their chi energy is all you're messing. You're, you're taking two pieces where chi should finish and flow. You do not have a nerve there. But one thumbnail away is a nerve. And now let's say he grabs me. I don't want him to grab the microphone. You gotta do that in a fight. Excuse me, I have a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> but he grabs you and he muscles you in. Maybe you're only a one-armed man. So I'll put this arm here. 
for some reason you can't touch. You now don't go there. You go one thumb away to the face. Got that? You go one, one thumb away and you're on pure nerve. And you can do what you want to him from there. Keep in mind, I still would use the other hand. I'm just showing you how simple it is. This, you don't need to touch the arm. But with the chi, you need to touch the arm. And it's just one thumb away, one thumb away, and you control the person. If you get somebody down in ground grappling, that's all you have to do is rest this thumb right here and kept bring it into that hole as you grab their face. And you'll be right on the nerve. What I want you to do, don't want you to hurt each other, but I want you to get up. One side's going to grab the other. You can keep your arms in front of you. You don't have to put it in your belt. Stand up here. Come one thumbnail away. Go in and cut that direction because that's where the Y is in the nerve. There's a little tiny Y to the seventh facial nerve. And when you cut into it, you really are pulling the energy from up where he wears his glasses and down where his nose is, and it goes into the nerve and it actually affects the eye. If you've seen everybody I did it to, seriously, they get up and their vision is temporarily messed up because it passes the message that quick into the optic nerve. And if your opponent can't see, he can't fight. So I have a lot of techniques I like to just touch and do and involve the, the vision. You have a couple things in you that are animalistic. If you can't breathe, I don't care who you are, you will back out of a fight. If you can't see, you will back out of a fight. If you're in the middle of anything and all of a sudden you can't see and you can't breathe, you will try to save yourself and you will back out. And that is one of the messes with vision. I also have some just as quick, do you touch your mess's breathing up? He can't breathe. He can't breathe in. He can't breathe out. The fight's over. It takes one second to do it. That's why Q Shou Jitsu, one second fighting. So now what you're going to do, they grab you. It could be one hand or two hands. It doesn't matter. And if they muscle you in, that's better yet. You go one thumb away and you aim that direction right there and the head will turn. Everybody try it. <laughs>